So last week I had a GameCube come into the shop. The customer originally was having issues with the game Mario Kart Double Dash. His GameCube would read other games, but not Mario Kart. So I recommended him to take it to the local game shop that is in my area to have them resurface it. So he takes it in and gets it resurfaced and it still doesn't work. Well, here's the deal. It more than likely isn't a laser, but we could try one. But here is what we should do. How about we just install a mod chip, install an SD card with Mario Kart Double Dash dash already installed in it so he can just boot right into swiss and just launch mario kart and play it without the disc these gamecube games are going up in price like crazy and when you have a disc that's just going to get scratched up anyways you might as well just future proof your console put in a chip so you don't have to use your laser anymore you don't have to worry about your discs getting scratched it will just work no problem so let's get started if you guys remember my good friend doug i have his son here with me he likes video game console. Yeah, yeah, you can come in the picture. Yeah, you can come right in the frame. So he likes video game consoles and likes taking them apart and likes learning how to mod them. And he's really talented himself. And he's only 15. And uh, he wanted to be a part of this video. And he took apart. And he took apart the GameCube for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the mod chip into it and uh, we're gonna go from there. So for some reason, I went ahead and recorded this entire segment of the video with no audio. But of course, we're not going to go out with no audio through this entire section. You guys get to see the entire process of me soldering in the wires to the mod chip. Now the mod chip I'm using is actually a Raspberry Pi Pico. This Raspberry Pi is probably one of the coolest microcontrollers that has so many uses because there are so many very talented software developers out there in the field. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of them and the person that created Peekaboo. So we'll just go ahead and finish wiring this up here and then we'll go ahead and give it a test. Okay. Hey Logan. How are you, sir? Fine. Okay. So we got the GameCube plugged in. We got the controller plugged in, the Peekaboo is connected all right roughly we got the power board let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works <laughs> yes dude it's working let's go all right now i went ahead and already put on here in the file structure and games i put in mario kart there it is we'll go ahead and push a to boot okay that's booting the game I'm not gonna have it on for long. Yes, dude, let's go. All right, cool, yeah, it's working. All right, I'm gonna shut it off before uh, the processor and graphics chip overheat because there's no heat sink on it, but yeah. So I just it. wanted to mention that the game that we installed, he already owned, so it was completely legal that he had a backup of his own game. You know, barring the fact that the game could have been red, technically it would have worked better, but eh, whatever. So I want to give a big thanks to this guy for putting it back together and uh, taking it apart for me, ultimately. Because oh, yeah. uh, I would have had a huge problem taking apart a GameCube, and then I guess it is what it is. And if you like this video, you should probably subscribe. What do you think, Logan? Subscribe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should subscribe to, like, my channel, like, multiple times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, multiple of course. Accounts. Multiple, Mo accounts. multiple accounts, and then we'll just subscribe yeah. to myself, Obviously. like the whole time. <laughs>